Shanti, how are you all? Today we are going to discuss about the famous saying in all religions that all our marriages were fixed in heaven. So what is the actual meaning of that, if that's true? So there is a famous celebration in South India called Panguni Uttaram that function mocks the wedding day of many divine beings, many deities. They say it is the day when God Shiva gets married to Parvati Devi and it is the very same day when his son Kartik gets married to Devani and it's on the same day Sri Narayanan gets wedded with Sri Lakshmi and it is on this same day when Brahma gets married to Saraswati. So the list goes on and on. If you think for a second, is it possible for a dad and his son to get married on the same day? So that is what happens in this function. But if you can interpret the real spiritual meaning behind this story, then you can get to know what is mean by that our marriage gets fixed in heaven. What happens is our marriages were not fixed in heaven to be accurate. But the marriages in heaven was prefixed in the time before the establishment of heaven. That is what it all means. So to understand that you have to know the direct knowledge given directly by God Shiva now. And that knowledge says we are not this perishable body as we all tend to believe, but we are this imperishable soul that lies in between the eyebrows and it shines like a tiny star and that will not get perished at all. It will stay on forever. But what happens is the soul gets pure and also it gets impure. So that's the only change that can happen to a soul. And the soul will not increase or decrease in size as the body does. And God says the souls before taking birth on earth were residing in this place called the soul world or Parandam or Parlok. This is a golden red colored light world and that's where we souls exist together with the father of all souls, God, Shiva. He is also a soul. That is why we call him Paramatma. Souls means Atma in Hindi and Supreme Soul, God, means Paramatma. And he is also a soul and he is also a tiny point of light. The only difference between God, Shiva and all the other souls is we take birth and we enter this birth and death cycle that goes on and on in earth but God doesn't enter this birth and death cycle but only he knows this knowledge so he has to give this and he comes to this earth just hundred years before the completion of this world before the destruction of this world and since he doesn't take birth in a mother's womb like us, he enters an old man's body and he names him Brahma. And through his mouth, he gives these teachings. And the essence of this teaching is that we are imperishable souls and we 
in the beginning were deities in heaven yes this earth was heaven 5000 years back and it continued to be heaven for 2500 years and by the end of it it becomes hell and towards the end of the hell towards the end of kali yuga as i mentioned earlier god takes this old man's body and gives this knowledge and he reveals the fact that this 5000 year time cycle is called a kalpa whatever happens in one kalpa it keeps repeating kalpa after kalpa to understand it very easily if you are watching this video for the first time it obviously means you watched it 5000 years back on this very same day on this very same time and this is what you will do every 5000 years once on this very day so it's that accurate it repeats that accurate and since we were deities in the beginning while the earth was heaven we should again become that but we do not know how to become that so that's why god comes and he gives this teaching of purifying oneself because the difference between deities and we humans is deities were pure and we have become totally impure because we got corrupted with these five vices called lust anger greed attachment and ego these five vices is present both in men and women and they are commonly called the ten headed raven and there is no human called raven with ten heads so it is these five vices and these vices are called satan uh, or maya so we have become slaves of these five vices and god teaches now the way to conquer satan and the only way for that is to remember god as a point of light and before that we need to consider ourselves as the imperishable soul and not the perishable body then we have to constantly remember god as much as possible and the more we think of him the more our past sins get burnt because the sins are nothing but these five vices uh, what happens in one's death is the soul takes away the characters the dominant characters one possessed before his birth sorry before his death and that gets transferred to the next body so that's how we carry the sins from our past births and it's accumulated to a large extent that we need to constantly remember god to burn them all away and if we manage to purify ourselves as pure as god himself then we will enter the heaven in the beginning itself or else will be entering the heaven later uh, it depends on how pure we became before the destruction of the world so th this is the knowledge god gives and now we all we all souls think god just like a uh, women thinks of her husband all the time especially the new wedded ones so that is why we can call god as our husband or our lover and he is the husband which all the souls think of so we all souls are wives of one god shiva so it is more like we are wedded to god shiva so it is um <coughs> it is how faithful that we are now to our husband god so that decides what kind of husband or wife we get in the heaven because if you are 100% loyal then 
there's a pretty good chance that we'll be married to Sri Lakshmi who is the number one queen of the heaven. So obviously we will be born as Sri Narayan. So, and if you are not that faithful, uh, if there is some deficiency in our love for God, then we'll be marrying someone who is lower than Sri Lakshmi. So everything is decided by the by how much love we have for God now. So all these things happen in the last hundred years of Kali Yuga. So this is called Sangam Yuga. That is where we meet God directly. And this is the only time God comes and gives this knowledge. So this is the time our marriage with whoever is decided just now, just by our effort. Our effort determines our life partner in the heaven. So this is what they mean by our marriage is prefixed in heaven. As a matter of fact, it is prefixed in Sangam Yoga. So that is how we choose our life partners, but not then, but now itself. This is exactly now that we reach our own fate. So not only our first birth, but the birth after birth. Uh, in all our births, all our life partners will be decided now itself by the effort we make now. But for the first 2500 years it's going to be heaven and we will all be deities and the heaven will be filled with peace, bliss and prosperity and also um, will be ever healthy. So we will all be very happy because we will not be having any knowledge about these five vices. We will be as innocent as kids. That's why it is written in Bible that if you are uh, not pure as children, you cannot enter heaven. So it obviously means that we will be free from these five vices. We will be getting married. We will be having sons or daughters but they will be born out of yogic power and not out of uh, physical contact. So whenever the couple thinks that they want to have a baby then the wife will get pregnant. That's how they give birth to the young ones in heaven and not through lust. But after the completion of 2500 years, we, we lose that ability. You know why? Because while we were in heaven, we would be soul conscious. That is, we would be considering ourselves to be this soul that is entirely separate from this perishable body. That's why we don't fall for lust, anger, greed, attachment. But here, so after the completion of heaven, um, what happens is we forget that we are souls instead we will wrongly consider ourselves to be the spiritual body because of which we become slaves to the sensual pleasures. So that will automatically generate sufferings for us. So we will have to endure pain and as a result we start searching for God thereby creating all religious texts and starting to establish religions and start building temples, mosques and churches. But despite these, our uh, worries and sufferings, they keep on increasing day by day because nobody knows that these five vices are the root causes for all the sufferings. Even if it was, men even though it was mentioned in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, there is no clear mention of the ways 
to come out of these five vices and it is only now God says you can come out of these five vices only if you remember God and nothing else. So we have to keep on remembering God. Before that we do not know how God looks like. It was not mentioned in any religious scriptures. Only now God says that he is also a soul just like us. Uh, his form is a tiny point of light and the abode he resides is a golden red colored light world. So we have to think of God as a tiny star that shines in the golden red colored sky. We have to think of him as lovingly as we uh, think of our own father because God is actually our father. We will only develop love for somebody only if we become familiar with them, right? So we can be familiar with God only when we listen to his words. And God now speaks. It is from his knowledge that we are creating these videos. And we can get his knowledge only from Raj Yoga Meditation Centers that is spread across the globe. Uh, it is totally free of cost because it is God himself who teaches through Raj Yoga Meditation Centers. Um, so that knowledge is called Murli. Uh, you can uh, either Google it and find it for yourself, the location of the centers in your area or you can WhatsApp me in this number uh, so that I can help you locate the address in your country. Plus 9198946 Well, I said our marriages in heaven is fixed in Sangam Yuga uh, by the amount of effort we make as per God's uh, teachings. Uh, we can call it Srimad. But what about the marriage that's been taking place in hell now? How is that decided? Well, that is also decided by us, uh, by our past actions in our past births. For example, if you are very loving to your parents, you want to stay with them forever, but we all know that death is inevitable. Nobody can escape death, so we will be separating, but what happens in the upcoming births is you will become husband and wife in one birth. You might be uh, father and son in your past births, but now you would be husband and wife. Yes, the soul takes men and women's body alternatively but it will always take human body and not uh, be born as plant or animal as mentioned in religious scriptures because it was all written by humans so that will not be 100% correct only the God's knowledge will be 100% true because he himself is the truth so we are giving the direct knowledge of God um, so the essence of his teaching is to purify ourselves. The only way to do that is to consider ourselves constantly as souls and we have to constantly connect our mind with the Supreme Soul who is also the point of light in the golden red colored sky and that's the essence. So please go to the nearest Raj Yoga Meditation Center as soon as possible and start taking this knowledge. Thanks for watching. Keep sharing this video to all your friends and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. So more and more spiritual secrets will be revealed in the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.